Hello, Richard. I, I appreciate you taking the time to attend our C2FO Working Capital Summit. Um, you're Richard Kane, the CEO of Lavi Enterprises. That's correct. Right. You've been using the uh, C2FO program for a couple of years now. Would you share with us uh, what is beneficial with it for you, how it suits your needs? Well, it came to our attention when you first uh, gave us a phone call about two, two and a half years ago in mm -hmm. terms of maybe being interested in participating in the C2FO program. And once you explained it to us, we really wrapped our arms around it and said, yes, we would like to participate. Uh, it's through one of our major uh, vendor relationships, Costco, uh, but we utilize C2FO for it currently. And it gives us the opportunity to expedite payment and plan our financial windows the way we see fit. Uh, in our business, in baked goods manufacturing, we normally have a seven to nine week window for payment. So having the available option, and option is a, a key word in terms of when we want to participate, we're not obligated to participate. That's correct. We participate when we want. Uh, helps us to manage our cash flow, not just being tied down with one source of, uh, of funding, whether it be uh, conventional bank, lines of credit, uh, mortgages, uh, operating capital, or uh, private funding that we do ourselves uh, to move the business along as we grow. And as you know, demands for capital uh, are, are, are always strong, especially in the manufacturing process. And uh, accounts um, receivable are uh, winded in terms of time. So this has really helped fill a void uh, when and when we needed to utilize those funds and take a very small, a very minute, small percentage uh, uh, for payment in order to expedite the, the, those funds being delivered. And you decide on what that percentage is going to be. It's your choice on where your comfort level is on what you're willing to offer as a discount. That's correct. Uh, it's a very interesting program in terms of how you've, how you've broken down the, the, the time span in terms of what, what receivable you're looking at, what you bid for a 10-day or a 20-day or a 30-day or a 40-day or uh, I think even a 60-day receivable. So obviously the, the, the percentage you're going to pay for a receivable that's longer out there as opposed to closer to payment uh, the higher percentage you pay, but the, the beauty of it is you determine it, you put the number in, you determine um, what you're willing to pay against the consortium that you're up against that would be bidding within that finite source of funds that's been allocated from that retail partner. You're correct on that. The discounts increase as something is brought forward in payment by more days, but when you annualize it to an APR, you're going to find that it's going to be the same whether you're bringing it forward by 20 days or 60 days. It's going to be at the same annual percentage rate. That's correct. And what, what the way we utilized it was for our, 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 our receivable, normally between 20 and 40 days out. And, but the, the APR, which was mentioned in the symposium today, is a good way to look at it and uh, was it, well, it's helpful in uh, how I utilize this tool moving forward. Uh, but even however we utilize it, the cost of funding is from our perspective, uh, saves us money. It's actually, it's a, it's a money-saving tool for uh, filling in um, financial gaps that all businesses always need. It's a pleasure for us that we've come up with a program that you find beneficial, because that was the whole idea, is to come up with something that is going to be a win for both the supplier and the buyer. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate the comments that you've provided us, and I look forward to helping you figure out in the future where your crossover opportunities is with your other buyers who happen to roll out the C2F We look forward program. to that day. Thank you, Chris.